equations of nice and plain. First, we're gonna talk about equation of nice, okay? Let's get to the familiar two-dimensional case first. If we have a nine that is on this two-dimensional x, y, p, okay, and it passes on x1, y1, and also has a slope to be m, using the point slope form, what will be the equation of this nine? Yes, you got it. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> so this is the equation of a nine in uh, in the two-dimensional case, okay, on the xy plane. Okay. Now we're going to extend this to three dimensions. <clears throat> so here is a knife in 3D, okay? Imagine this knife here in space, okay? This knife over here, it has, it has it passed this point over here again. It passed, we know that it passed this point. And we also know the direct direction. The direction is going this way. Okay. Once you know that it passed this point and has this direction, then this the position of this knife here is determined, right? There's only one single there's only one line that passing this point and has this direction in 3D, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. So now you see that comparing this to the point slope form, right? This is the point. And the direction of this line here is kind of like the slope in the two-dimensional case, okay? So the direction of this knife here is given by this vector V. Remember this and this vector, okay? Even though they have different initial points, they are equivalent or equal. So the direction of this knife here is this one, the, the green one, the V, okay? So if we know that in 3D, uh, a line that passing a point, x naught, y naught, z naught, and has this direction v, then we will we are able to determine this line here in 3D. Do you guys and do you guys kind of picture that in 3D? Right? So think about that in 3D at this point. And then we know the direction. It has so many, infinite many directions, right? It can go this way, this way, this way, this way. But there's only one single, one single night that goes, goes this way, that way. That particular pointing in this direction of this direction. So that's the only one and only night that has this one and has this direction in two. Okay. And this is called the directional vector. Okay. Remember this and this vector? Um, the two are parallel, right? And then we say that the two vector here has the same direction. Okay. Okay. So we are going to let, well, this one here, just go into more detail. So we're going to let, so remember how we got the equation of an, a line, right? We let x comma y to be any point on the line. And similar over here, we're going to let x, y, z, this point here, okay? Be any arbitrary point on this line over here. And then we let this r not over here, Okay, I should actually put, remember this is going to be a vector. I should put a vector, put an arrow on top, okay? So we're going to let R not be this vector over here. And this R here to be this vector here. So R not over here is the position vector of this point P not. 
What about R here? R here is the position vector of this point P. Remember point and position, right? So if you have a point over here, this is a point. And the position vector is the vector that's starting from this origin and point to this point. That's called the position vector, okay? So R naught is the position vector for P naught. R here is the position vector for P, okay? Now, so R naught here actually has this representation O P naught, right? O P naught, starting from O and pointing to P naught. And then R over here has representation O P, okay? Start from O, pointing to P, okay? Now I color code that so then you can see them, okay? So this is this one, this one here is this one. Now, what about this A? This vector here, okay? This vector here gives you the direction of the line, right? This vector here has this representation, P naught P, starting from P naught and then um, ending at P over here, okay? So now we have the three vector and they are in a triangle, right? In this triangle. Can someone tell me, According to the triangle law, okay, for vector addition, this R, this vector R here is equal to the sum of which two vectors? Hmm? Uh, R, R is equal to what? R naught plus A. Yes, you got it. Good job, okay? So, and I press A, okay? So the triangle now says that this vector is the sum of this vector and this vector. Mm -hmm. Think about that. The triangle law, you have this vector and then you put the second vector over here and you end it here. Then the result of this plus this is from here to here, this vector, okay? Good, okay. Now, remember this. So the R here is R naught plus A, okay? So R here is R naught plus A, okay? We, we just got this okay, right here. Now, notice that what happened over here, remember this vector A, okay, is, okay, so over here we have this vector V. They are parallel, okay? Uh, this one here, uh, the initial point will be at the origin. And it is, uh, maybe we can make this uh, a unit vector or, or just any vector, okay? So these two are, are parallel, okay? A here and this are parallel. They, they, have, the same, they have the same direction, okay, when they're parallel, okay? Uh, either same direction or opposite direction, okay? So they are parallel, okay? So these two vectors are parallel. So we can express this vector A here as a scalar multiple of this V, right? Think about this. When, when T is equal to one, then this vector A will be just equal to this vector V. When T is equal to negative one, this vector here is equal to the opposite of this vector V, right? And when T is 0.5, so you get half of V, okay? Still point to the same direction, but the magnitude will be different, okay? So, <clears throat> so this vector A is a scalar multiple of this vector V. So when two vectors, remember, Last time we talked about when two vectors are parallel, then they are scalar multiple each other, right? Okay, you times the scalar multiple, it does, uh, then they still parallel to each other, right? They parallel to each other, okay? Okay, so A here is a scalar multiple of this V. So it's T times V. Think about the T here is like a real number. So a real number times this V. So we can replace this A here by T times V. Now, if we do that, 
So we'll have R naught plus, now instead of A, we're going to have T times V. So we have this. So we place the A here by T times V, okay? Now we have got this equation, uh, equation one over here. Uh, this is this is a vector equation of this 9L, okay? So we have derived the vector equation of a 9L that passing, okay, how do you write this vector equation? <laughs> um, first of all, the R naught over here, what is this R naught? R naught is a position vector of the pawn that this knight passed through, right? So you get this point right here, and then you just start from the origin, you draw this position vector. So you draw this position vector here, and then you put it over here, that's the R naught. And then plus, the T here is, uh, think about that as a, a real number, it's a scalar, okay? Plus a scalar multiplied with the, direction vector, directional vector, which is so V over here, direction vector V. So it pointed this way, okay? So if, if I give you a point and the direction vector V, then you're able to write this vector equation of this 9L by doing this way. So we're gonna do some example later on so then we can understand this a little bit better, okay? But now you can try to imagine this, right? So as this t here vary, right? So, so what happens when t equal to zero? When t equal to zero, this part here will be zero, right? You will just get r naught. So the tip of this vector will be at this point p naught. What happens when t is positive? Then you're going to have r naught plus a vector pointing this direction. So you get a, you will get a vector start from the origin pointed to maybe a point over here, right? Okay. So actually I have a picture over here. So when T is equal to zero, then you will get this, you get this, uh, you get that point that you, uh, you specify that it, the night that passed through, okay? And then um, if the position vector point to this way, when T is greater than zero, you get this side of the night. When T is negative, you get the other side of this night over here, okay? So, and then when T is uh, going to be all real number, you get the whole, whole night, the whole thing. You understand? <laughs> Okay, and it's some, let's try some example, okay. Okay, so again, I put this over here, okay. I think the picture really help us to visualize it, okay. So what do we have over here? Let's write down the vector equation here, one more time, okay. So what's the vector equation, anyone? which is going to be what? What's the vector equation? Yeah, so this vector, okay, is equal to R naught plus, sometimes if you write it a couple of times, then, it helps you to remember, okay? You first understand and then you try to remember. Plus, okay, so R naught, okay? Plus a scalar, scalar, which is a T, times the direction vector, which is the V over here, this vector, okay? So this is the vector equation. So that's the vector equation. Okay, now if I if I write this equation, um, if I list the component of those vectors, then actually what do I get? 
Remember this one? So R here is the vector. What is that vector? It has, R here is the position vector of this point X, Y, Z, right? So the position vector, you can just put X, Y, Z. But instead of the, the braces, instead of the parentheses, you have this angle bracket. That's the vector, okay? So this R here is this vector over here. And then that is equal to R not here is, well, let's write that down, okay? What's R not? Let's write down the component. What's R not? It is X not, right? Why not? What's the, what's the, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> and then what? Z not, okay? Okay. And then press what? Press T times, okay, let's write down the vector also. So the vector V, what is that vector? What's the direction vector? A, B, C, right? C, that's A, B, C, okay? Now you have this, okay? So this is another way to write this vector equation. Now we know how do we add two vector and how do we multiply vector by scalar, right? Okay. So over here, if we, so if we, um, okay, take this one over here. So take a look here, okay? Okay, let's try to take the, now when you add the two vector, okay? So, the first component will be what? X naught plus what? T times A, right? So which means that this X over here is equal to what? X naught plus T times A, right? X naught plus T times A, which is A T, right? Okay. Now, can someone tell me what will be, what does this Y here equal to? Y equal to, yes, why not, why not plus B times T, right? Okay, good. Okay. What about Z? Z is equal to Z not plus C times T, you got it. Okay, good job. All right. So this three equation here, <laughs> this three equation over here, those are called the scalar equation for that line. Okay, uh, it actually write down each component of the vector. Okay, so the x co uh, the x component. Okay. The x here it will be this x naught plus this a times t, and the y is y naught times b times t, and then z is z naught plus c times t. Okay. It is kind of like the point slope form, also. Remember, remember this you had the the point, right? And then this is kind of like the, the slope, right? And then this like that, okay? Okay, now this equation are called parametric equation of the nine through this point and parallel to this vector V, okay? And every value of T is gonna give you a point X, Y, Z. So if we substitute T to be different value, you're going to get different pawn, the X, Y, Z, we're gonna give you the different pawn on this line over here, okay? I said again, I said, okay. 
อันนี้ค่ะเดี๋ยวโอเคพารามิทริกควีชันของไนท์ดูดิสพูนและพาราลทูดิสดิเรกชันวักเตอร์เอ่อดิดิสดิกรีนวักเตอร์ที่ไอ้เอ่อคาราคูดิอีสคอร์ดิดิเรกชันวักเตอร์ที่กิฟยูดิดิเรกชันของดิดิไนท์โอเค so that's why that one more time so them on this page so them you will To we we enforce the memory. Okay, let's put it up. What does x equal to? X equal to. Yes. Okay. Good. X plus eighty. <laughs> the next one. Y equal to. Y not plus b t, and z equal to z not plus c t. Okay, c t. Yeah, remember. Okay, good. Hey. So let me tell you how those new formula. Okay, you need to practice and use it. Why a couple of times? Okay, and actually just become natural to you. Okay. Okay, let's do some example also. Okay, let's try to find a vector equation. And parametric equation. So we're looking for two type of equation. One is a vector equation. The other one, the are those uh, parametric equation, right? Okay. For the night that pass through this point and is parallel to this vector. Okay. Oh, let's write down the formula. Just uh, maybe one more time, so so you can actually remember, right? Okay. What well, was the vector equation? R equal to what? Yeah, R not the vector R not plus T times uh V, right? I even remember what color I use. Okay, <laughs> the same color code. Okay, okay, and those parametric. Well, the parametric. Okay, so this is this. And then um, the parametric equations for the nine is just the one that we just talked about, right? Okay, like maybe we just write it down just for fun, okay? So it will be what? X equal to, uh -huh. X equal to what? Yes, very good, okay? So X not plus T, a, okay. P A, okay, and then Y equal to Y not plus T B D equal to D not plus T C. Okay, those are the three parametric equations. Okay. Okay. Remember the T here is going to be real numbers. Okay. Remember, T is real number. Those are scalar. Okay. Once you are done, uh, we know how to tackle this problem. It's not that scary anymore. Okay. So. Here, what is R not? R not is what? What is vector R not? Yes. <laughs> What's the position vector? Well, we know that we know that the nine pass this point, right? So that's the point, right? <laughs> so what about the position vector of this point? Basically, you just take this point, we place this parenthesis nearby, and go back in. Okay, so that will be this vector. Okay, so that's a vector R not. Now let's try to write this in the form like i j k. Those in the, those uh, basic vectors, standard basic vector, right? So what should I put over here? Phi i plus 
one J plus three K, right? Yeah, so we do it that way. Okay, you got this or not already? Okay, now what about the direction vector V? We know that the line is parallel to this vector, right? So this has to be the direction vector, right? So that's the one, okay? So we can put over here, we can put over here. So we've got the direction vector, V. So the vector equation, we have this, by that, a couple of times already, which is this one. Okay, on that press this. Okay, and what does it become? What should I put here? Oh, you see, I have a, a minor mistake here, a minor typo. This one over here should be angle bracket. Okay, because it's factor. So angle bracket. All right. So the first, the here we're going to put. Okay, here we're going to put R not. Okay, so we're going to put this vector over here. So five one three. Or you, oh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. If you use IGK, you don't need to put the angle bracket. Do you, got, do you got have a preference? I actually like the angle bracket better because I don't have to type in those IGK. Okay, so I'm going to take it back. Okay, so if I use IGK, I can just use parentheses. Okay, it's that way. Or another way to put this is you can put five, one, three. Okay, so there are two different ways to put this plus t times this vector one, four, negative two. So you can actually either write it this way, okay, using angle bracket or vector, or you can put the i, j, k there, okay? And that stands for the same vector as this. So, Remember, it was a free country. So you have different way to do it. Personally, I like the first one better because I don't need to put all those IJK, okay? Uh, but I do need to put angle bracket though, okay? So using this equation, we write the vector equation, okay? Now we know how to sum two vector, right? So if we sum this one, with this one, what will be in this uh, I direction? What do I get? What should I put over here? I will have phi plus what? One T, don't forget the T there, one times T, okay. All right, and then for the, what's the coefficient for the standard basic? Uh, Univector J, what, what should I put over here? <laughs> I answered that myself. Okay, one plus 40. Okay, the last one, I saved this for you. What should I put here? You got it. Okay, good. Three minus two T. And now you have written your first vector equation for a nine in your life. Okay, <laughs> all right. So what are the parametric equation? Remember, what are the three parametric equation? I know that's not too hard, right? We tackle this, okay? So x equal to, <laughs> x dot, what's x dot here? <laughs> phi, phi what? Just this one, phi plus t, okay? Is x dot plus a times t, right? So it's, five plus one times t, so it's five plus t, which is this, okay? Okay, now 
<laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, too fast. Okay. Um, okay, let me see if I can just take, oh, no, they all come together. Okay, now, why don't you guys tell me what's y? What does y equal to? One plus four t is z equal to three minus two t, right? Okay. Yes, you got it. Okay, good. So those are the parametric equations. Okay, the three parametric equations for night. First in your life, you read this. Okay. Okay, so five. Okay, now we have the second part of this equation. Uh, this question. Find two points on the night. Can you find two points on the night? Well, night has in, the night has infinite many points on it, right? Can you find two? How about, remember, you can choose T to be any real number, right? Okay, so if I choose, okay, since we already have the parametric equation over here, I remember the T here is any real number. How about we choose T to be one? Six, five, one. Six, five, one. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, six, five, one. Yes, you got it. Good job. Okay, so this six, five, one is a point on the night. Okay, similarly, if you choose T here to be negative one, okay, substitute. Tell me what you get. One. Negative three. <laughs> you, got, you got the second one, right? Four, negative three, five. Okay. All right. Okay. So you can actually pick T to be any real number and you substitute and you get different point, right? Okay. Good. Would zero be a valid number? Yes, zero it is. What happens if you substitute t to be zero? Then you get the point 513, which is the point you specify that the night path through in the beginning, right? Okay. Yeah, so you already know that. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. All right. So I'm going to ask you, is this vector equation, parametric equation of the night unique? <laughs> Is it unique? <laughs> it's not unique. I just turned it over here. Okay. That will be on the quiz. Okay. Uh, okay. Now put a start next to it. <laughs> if we change the point or the parameter or choose a different parallel vector, then the equation change. Okay. Let's, for instance, okay, let's just use the example we had done. So we have this point 513, right? So how about we don't choose, we just say, we don't choose this point, okay? This is the point that the night pass through. How about we choose this one, six, five, one, which is, remember, six, five, one is a point on the night, right? So I'm gonna choose six, five, one, okay? And then what will be the parametric equation become if I use this point and use the same, same V? That's before. What well, was the V there before? Let's, I'm going to just remind you. V is equal to, what's the factor? Um, what was the factor? Is it one, four, negative two? One, four, negative two, yeah. So V is this vector, one, four, negative two. So V is one, four, negative two, right, this vector, okay. So now, if I don't choose this point, instead I choose this point, what will be the parametric equation here? What will be the three parametric equation? X equal to what? Six plus T, you got it. And then, yes, so that would be six plus one T, which is six plus T. The Y will be what? Five plus 40, right? And then Z will be what? One minus two T. Yes, you got it. Good job, okay? So you got different parametric equation, but it represents the same line, right? 
so you see that the representation is, is not unique, right? Those parametric equations, they look different, but they basically are the same. Now. Depends on which point you pick, okay? You can actually, instead of using that V over here, okay, because this V here gives you the direction of the line, how about I multiply this, multiply this vector by two. If I multiply this vector here by two, I get this vector here. They have the same direction because when you multiply a vector by two, basically you just enlarge the vector, right? Uh, the direction doesn't change. So this vector is the same direction as this vector, except this is two times as long as this. And we can also use this as a direction vector. Okay, now this time the V will be this vector, choose A, negative four, okay? Now using this vector as a direction and using this point here as a point that it passed through, let's write the parametric equation. So X equal to what? Five plus two T and Good job, okay? Five plus two T. And then Y is one plus eight T. Z is three plus, uh, three minus four T, right? Her T here will be any real number. In general, uh, if this, so as you can see here, this is like a, this three parametric equation, different from the one that we had before, right? So it has, we put a different direction vector here. However, it represents the same line, okay? So the representation is not unique, okay? Not unique. Depends on which point you pick on the line and also depends on what you use as a direction vector. You can pick any scalar multiple of this as a direction vector, okay? Another way of describing a line is to eliminate the parameter t from that equation two. So for your convenience, I put equation two y here so you can take a look. How can I eliminate this parameter t? In other words, um, from the first equation, from this equation, can I solve for t? What does t equal to? X not uh, x minus x not over a. Yes, you got it, okay? Over a, okay. What about the second equation you got? So you have y minus y not over b. Yes, you got it, okay? And then the last one? The last one will be what? So you can take a subtract this okay? And then dy by right? Okay. They have a pattern over here, then, isn't it? All right. So all of this are equal to t. So we can equate the result, right? This will be equal to this will be equal to this, okay? Providing that uh, a, b, c are, are not zero, right? It can be whatever. So this equal this, this equal this. And now we have a new, we have some new equation. Those are called symmetric equation of this line. Symmetric equation. Symmetric equation. Okay. I think this, this name comes, uh, it's called symmetric equation. Okay. So for expression of a line, we have three type of equation. So the first one is the vector equation. Second one will be the three parametric equation. And now we have the symmetric equation. All right, so over here, notice that the ABC that appear in this denominator, okay, those are the direction numbers, right? Remember ABC are the component of this direction vector, right? A, B, C, okay, A, B, C, you put it. So you know the direction vector, okay? Then each component, 
A, B, C here will be here in the denominator, okay? And then X minus X naught, X naught is the X component of the point that it passed through, okay? Now what happens if one of the A, B or C is zero? Then I cannot, uh, can I still, um, can we still eliminate G? Okay, uh, yes, you could. Okay, suppose a equal to zero. Okay, suppose a equal to zero. Then remember x is x not plus a times t, right? So remember this is x equal x not plus a times t. But if a equal to zero, if a equal to zero over here, then this part here will be zero. So x will be equal to x not. Right? Okay. So we have x equal to x naught. Okay. But then b and c are not zero, then we'll have this. Okay. So if one of the components of this direction vector is equal to zero, okay, or maybe more, then you can you still you still can use you can still can solve for t. You can, can still eliminate t. Okay, like that. Okay, so that means, well, what does this one here? Can you imagine this line here in 3D? Okay, if A equal to zero, okay. So over here, I use a uh, GeoGebra, okay, remember this. So I will say, if some of you have heart, so want to visualize this in 3D, I'm using this Geo. Jibba, right? Jibba. This app over here. Okay. Then I actually uh, try to help you to visualize it. So I have a point over here, x naught, y naught, z naught. And I know this line here is going to pass this point. Okay, pass this point. And also has the direction of, remember, a is zero. So that will be zero. Okay. So over here, so we know that I passed this point, and then has this direction zero means two. Remember a equals zero, okay? Well, how does this vector look like? So we'll have in the b, uh, the y component of b, and this will be c. So we have this vector over here, and then we can pick this vector, then you pan out, right? So from this point. We're gonna have this pointing in the stem, uh, pointing in the parallel to this vector. Okay, so you get the line here, and this line over here, the the orange line over here, is going to be on this vertical plane. So this vertical plane over here is where this line is located. So I draw the vertical plane here, so you can kind of see the relation between this orange line over here and also this vertical plane over here. This vertical plane here is actually passing, passing x naught here on this x axis, okay? So x naught right here, okay, and then that. So sometimes if you uh, need some visualization, you can go to this app, okay? And that might give you some idea how it looks like, okay? Okay, now I just reinforce your, what we have learned, right? We got this direction vector, uh, we got this direction vector V, and then we know that pass, uh, this is the position vector of this point, okay? So this equation is, called the, uh, what, what does it call, anyone? It's called what? Vector equation. Vector equation. Yeah, it's called a vector equation. Okay. That's the vector equation of a nine. So this is the one. And so if you know that the nine pass this and also pass through the tip of this R1, okay? So this is R naught, this is R1. The tip of R1 here is, has this coordinate, okay? So this V over here, okay? 
this vector V using the triangle law, right? So we have R1 is this plus this. Then this V over here will be what? R1 subtracting R, R0, right? You take this, because this is the sum of this one and this one. Then to find this one, you would take this, subtracting this, right? Okay, so this is this one subtracting this. So we got, so now we're looking for the nice segment from R0 to R1. So we're interested in this nice segment. So a lot of time, remember in, in 2D, right? You have the nice segment. When we do parametric equations, right? Uh, how do we represent a nice segment? Start from one point and end it at one point, right? So when we do the parametric equation, and this is uh, similar. So we have this nice segment start from this and end it over here. How can we parameterize this? So using T, okay? So the nice statement from R0 to R1, okay, start from here and end it here. This is given by this vector equation, okay? It's going to be one minus T times R0 plus T times R1, okay? Now, some of you might say, how did you get this, okay? So let me go through the process with you. The process is, remember this, this one here, okay. So V, V is R1 minus R0, okay, yeah. So what do we know? We know that this, this nice segment here starting from here, right? So it passing just this point, okay. So oh, let's just think about the equation of this line here. Passing this one, right? So we have R naught, so we have R naught over here, plus T times the direction vector. The direction vector over here is V, which is R1 minus R naught. Okay, so we'll put over here. So this is the vector equation for this line over here. But then over here, t could be any real number. But how can I restrict the t? How can I restrict the t so then it starts from here and end it here? You can restrict the t over here. Okay. From this to this, you first uh, combine this two. R0 plus t times negative R0 is this one over here. So you get 1 minus t R0. And then plus T times R1. So this one here, you just rewrite this. Rewrite this one, you will get this one. Now we're going to restrict the T. So when we T equal to zero, when T equal to zero, tell me what do I get on this side? When T equal to zero, this part here will be zero. So that will be R0, right? So when T equal to zero, you will get this this one over here. So it start from here, okay? Well, what, what about when t is one? When t increase one, what do you get? Well, this part, this part here will be zero, right? And then what do you have for this one? You get t is one, right? <laughs> yeah, lost you guys. Okay, when t is one, substitute one here, what do you get for this? You get zero, and this one here will get R1. So when T is one, you just get R1, okay? So when T is zero, you will get R0. So when T go from zero to one, basically it's going to trace, T of the vector trace out from here to here, okay? All right, so that is the nice segment. It's going to start from this and end it at this. That's the way that we write that. Okay. Okay. So we had that one. Okay. Next one, we're going to talk about print, uh, but let's take a break.